What's up, everybody? Welcome back to Third Person. My name is Chris. That's Mike. What's up? This was the mid-season finale of season nine. What the hell did you guys think? This was insane. Mikey, Jesus is dead. Again. Uh, yeah. Yeah, it sucks. I mean, it always seems like when they just build up the character just enough or they get like a love interest or yeah. something something big happens to a character and then all of a sudden they're they're off the show. But you know what, though? Uh, but, but, that's, but that's okay. I don't like seeing good characters go, but at the same time, like, they're not afraid to make those changes. Like, they're not afraid. Yeah. That's what has to happen. You know what I mean? It's like you can't just have one guy die every – it's six years you know it's like you gotta you gotta mix shit up now i didn't like seeing him go but listen yeah. let's we'll get into him at the end of this let's just let's 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 get through the rest of this episode before we end on that because that's a yeah that that his death involves the whole scene around his death was just was just phenomenal so let's run let's go to uh real quick gabriel right i want to talk about yeah. him for a second so he's doing these sessions with Negan, and I don't know, man. This uh, n not for nothing, but they were kind of like the least favorite of my of my scenes for this episode. Mm. I, I I wasn't too keen. Like it was kind of like it's throwaway. Those were throwaway. Like there was there's literally no reason he had to be in there talking to him. Well, there's there's a there's a part of you that actually thinks that there is some kind of good inside him, and maybe we'll see that in the future. Um, no spoilers if you kind of know about what goes on with the comic. Um, but I thought it was interesting. I thought it was cool how Gabriel's just saying, like, for the, for the most part, is there somebody in there? Is there a good person inside of you? Right. Because, because Gabriel's trying to find that, and Negan is always there with his little one-liners and his little, remember, they forget about me down here, and you have right, to hear yeah. what they say and, and the things that I hear. And So he's still playing those mind games. So I thought that was cool. Um, I guess that was the whole know. purpose of it. It, was, it wasn't really about Gabriel. It was about... Um, Negan, Wouldn't Negan even us, change? Us seeing, yeah, yeah, yeah. So, so we know. Let's just say off the bat, we know he he gets free. So what? So what happened? Uh, Gabriel, in his frustration and anger, didn't lock the door. Yeah, I guess he didn't lock the door. Um, and uh, I was hoping to see. Now, if you don't know the watch the comic, then you might want to skip this part really quick. But I thought it was interesting Spoiler. because it's it's big. So spoiler alert. Um, in the comic book, obviously, Negan, um, I don't think it's Gabriel uh, that, that leaves the cell open. But the, the fact of the matter is that in this episode on the show, he actually leaves. In the comic book, he kind of tries to um, – he wants to show his worth, I guess, and then he's maybe changed a bit. So he keeps himself inside as like a gesture to say, hey, right. listen – um, I might not be this this scumbag, so I'm kind of see. I'm kind of interested in seeing I, how they're gonna do that different. Yeah, I thought with, that uh, too, though. See, I well, thought, did you did you watch the the coming yeah. attraction? For yeah. Next so week? so here's the thing. I thought he was gonna. I'm like, I thought I was like, if he grabs that ball and goes back into the cage, I'll be like, okay, I'm cool with that. Yeah. And then he just leaves, yeah. and we see he ends up back with the saviors. Well, or at least back at back at the sanctuary because there's none none left. <laughs> right. Um, so it's going to be interesting that, that I'm looking forward to that. So uh, besides what happens with Jesus and that kind of that situation, now, it, it was still cool to get some of that Negan. We, we haven't really seen him, you know, this season so far. Like I'm fine with that, I mean, though, aren't you? Because aren't don't you? Have, I mean, not that, you know, JDM is is not you right, know pretty to let, look at. It's let just me ask saying. you this question. Let me ask you this question. Mm -hmm. um, are you happy he's, he left? He's free, free. He's out there. Or, or or not? Or would you rather have him had stayed? Ah, uh, I this version of Negan. Like, I, I don't know, man. That's a good question. I, you know what? I haven't even thought about it. I, I don't like. I'm not into this version of Negan. The comic version of Negan, I, 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 I started to really like, and yeah. you know, we were we were actually reviewing the comic around the time this that was all this this particular set of stuff was happening. And, you know, we were reviewing it for this channel. And, you know, I had said, you know, uh, Jesse and I were doing it. And I was like, I, you know what? I, I kind of like where this Negan's, you know, where his character is going. I kind of liked it. This redemption thing. At yeah. any moment he could turn. But this version is just he left. He, we see he goes back to the sanctuary. He's whistling again. Like, it's like, so we don't know enough about this version of Negan to feel anything for him. 
Yeah. And I feel like I feel like they might have been they might be missing something there in showing a redemption for mm-hmm. this character and the, the the beauty of Negan in the comic and we're sorry to have to keep comparing but it is the only thing that we can compare to is that Negan in the comic is very again he's he's not only does is he more or less redeemed you you still think he could turn and that's yeah. that's the suspense that's the beauty of it so I don't know. We'll see. We'll see where this goes. I don't. So I don't know. To answer your question, no, I'm not happy he's out. I'm not yeah. happy he's out. I, I think I would have preferred him to stay in, and then let them do something with them later. Yeah. Because now, what are we going to go back to the same shit? And, and that's why I don't think it's going to go back to that. I don't think we're going. I think Negan's going to kind of tease us a little bit, or AMC or the writers are going to kind of tease us with this a little bit, and thinking that he's back to his old ways, and just when you. You know, when you when you know, uh, you know, I mean, when the chips are down, he kind of helps out. So it's interesting to see since he has nobody at the sanctuary. He's the only one there. How well, is we don't know. At? We don't know that there's nobody. True. There. True. We just know that True. the group that we True. were following isn't no longer there. But they, you True. know, you never know what, what could happen. This is don't yeah. forget, Mikey, this is six years later. Mm-hmm. That's a big time. And the only reason why they did that was to make judith the same age carl was at the beginning of the show this this didn't happen in the comic obviously i mean okay they're not doing the comic, but i'm just saying this is a very long time and Mm -hmm. and you got to realize that's gonna have to be a lot of gaps to fill like many gaps to fill including negan's negan's story like what so he sat there for six years if so if you think about it that character sitting there for six years not two years like in the comic well, technically seven. He was locked up for that that first initial time jump. Right. So guess what? <laughs> yeah, he'd leave. Seven, seven and a half. Yeah. You know, he'd leave. Anyway. Yeah. yeah. All right. Enough about him. So we're, we're going to see more about him. Yeah. Um, so uh, Maggie's gone. Jesus doesn't really want to take over. Tara wants him to. Tara's basically running the place. They, you know, y- you like the whole the red coats are coming. The red coats are coming. You like that? Yeah. Like, running up to the uh, hilltop. Yeah, because it's very. Yeah, it's. It's, it shows you how long time has passed and how, you know, normally Hilltop to Alexandria, Alexandrians to Hilltop, it was nothing. It was like, oh, Michonne's here. Open the, mm-hmm. you know what I mean? Rick's here. So it's it's cool to kind of see that dynamic and how things things have changed, um, especially between Carol and Michonne. And, and, um, well, Michonne and everybody, really. Tara uh, Mich- does Yeah, Michonne and pissed. Carol, Michonne and Tara. Yeah, so right? I'm, I'm kind of interested to see. Oh, you know what happened? Does the X have the X's scars have anything to do with this? Like, I'm sure we'll eventually see it. Mm-hmm. Um, I mean, we we spoke a little bit. I know that Carol kind of explained a little bit that Michonne wasn't answering Ezekiel's letters um, or invites or whatever it is to get the fairs going, and that's a big part of the community coming together and all this right. kind of she stuff. She says so, as long as we can do that. Yeah, I'm yeah. just wondering if that's the only reason Carol and Michonne would kind of have some beef. It might. It seems like something else happened, though, some something broad um, that well, uh, eventually... She said... Out. Yeah, she said, I made the decisions I made because I felt they were the right decisions to make. They weren't easy, but I made them. We don't know what those are. We will. They're teasing us, and that's fine. I yeah. think it's, it's a little heartbreaking to see our team, you know break up michonne though even said it we're a family so this is a family that just happens yeah. to be quarreling right now mm-hmm. and you know that the whispers are going to bring them back together so oh, of course that's it um we got a little bit of teen angst you yeah. know little henry little henry right. henry's grown on me i'm not gonna lie he's grown on me yeah. i think the kid's got a little bit of integrity you know he met some kids his own age and very reminiscent of fear of the walking dead very reminiscent right yeah. Yeah. Of when they remember when they were in that uh, the the previous season when the kids did the same thing they were remember oh yeah 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 even the kids in on The Walking Dead when Carl had the kids with uh, the video games stuff like that initially and yeah. um in, in the in the room and they were reading comics and all that kind of stuff uh what was her name her the Rick's blonde girlfriend's kids oh yeah whatever. those kids those yeah. like those kind of kids so it was awkward to see that. Um, uh, because it's reminiscent of that and how the kids are so different and the kids in in Hilltop are so sheltered compared to what even Henry was up to. Imagine, it's, we're not even going to talk about what, what Carl was doing at that age, but just what the difference in, in the raising of, of children in different locations what? and different ways. Yeah, and Henry's a killer. You know, Henry's killed yeah, before. Yeah. He's fought he walkers before. 
He's yeah. fought humans before. Like, yeah. he's a kid that, you know, again. So this is a character that I, I, I'm, I, he's grown on me. He's grown on me. He's got a bit of integrity. He got drunk. He got, he was upset. He didn't like what was happening. He got caught out. He went back, you know, and he's, he admitted it. He said, listen, I messed up, but listen, I'm here for a reason. And I got people counting on me. Can you give me a second chance? And obviously, what's his name? The blacksmith was like, well, listen, I've literally been where you are. I, you know, yeah. I'll talk to Jesus and that. So, um, you know, other than that, I mean, uh, I'm trying to think of what else went down. I mean, that's really went down. You know, uh, the the you know we've got the other group come out. You know, these outsiders coming in, Mac, Magda and um, you know Connie and everyone else, and yeah. you know Luke Kelly. Kelly. And, yeah. So um, and Yumiko, they all you know they all show up, and you know they're they're. Yeah, they're they're trying to acclimate. They're like, all right, listen, we're gonna do what we gotta do to help you out, you know, whatever. They show up at the end when um you know, when it really counts the most. And and I think that means something. It's definitely gonna mean something to Michonne because they didn't have to do that. Yeah, well she said it. You know, Michonne said, What are you doing here? And they're right. saying, Listen, we have to pay our dues or whatever she said. But yeah, just let's let's talk about how awesome that scene was and creepy it was when even before well, the, the whole group thing showed up. Let's to go, save dude. Them. Let's go. Let's. I want to talk about this. Like, let's go when they're when they're looking at it and he's like, "There's a storm coming," and they're like, "Yeah." It moved this and that, and it's like, it's so refreshing to have something like this. It's refreshing mm -hmm. to be like, "Holy shit!" I love that the fact that when they find Eugene, he's like, "They're evolving." And they're like, "They're not evolving," and then they're like, "Well, wait." maybe they can evolve like they the yeah. brain is still alive like how are they even walking jesus says how are they even alive in the first place or yeah. reanimated in the first place so i like how they were doing that and he's like they whispered to each other and they're like is this possible is that the, th the fact that it just kept circling back and the simple fact that these dudes these whisperers they 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 they're so committed dude they take the time yeah the time it takes to you know, to have them circle and come back and yeah, that was cool. How Eugene was saying they've been back two times already. You know, but I, but you got to think about the logistics of that. They can't yeah. grab them and move them. They they literally have to direct them by shambling on. You know. Yeah. So I thought that was really cool. So yeah, going go, the whole the whole back that whole plot line was just so fun in the fog, mm -hmm. them being chased like. That was just the, we haven't really seen this on the show and no and no. especially with these three guys these four guys and the dog like I loved it I loved it it was it was mm -hmm. by by far the best part of of this episode and this mid finale and it's like like you said they go they, you know they've been teasing that shot of Jesus bouncing off one of Walker and slicing oh, yeah. the other like and 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 you know the rest of it doesn't you know doesn't disappoint man. No, I, I I agree too. It was one of my favorite scenes, really. Of all, I always loved that Night of the Living Dead stuff, and yeah, you know, from yeah. from even you know my favorites episodes that we were doing, and I loved like um, the farm scene when all the walkers finally came on the farm and they're coming out of the fog and the mist from the woods, and and they start entering the fog and overrunning. It was very similar to that. It's very Night of the Living Dead, George yeah. Romero kind of thing. We never seen walkers going through a graveyard, or I mean, it would have been cool if they started busting out of the ground or something. Nah, but obviously, that that's not the out. case. But yeah, there was some great, there was some great shots even before that. Um, you were mentioning with with the whispers um, hurting um, when Daryl mm -hmm. was sitting on like that camper kind of thing or that shack or whatever the roof of the whatever the hell he was on. And yeah, well, his there. his realization and that watching him. And then they turn with the uh, with the fireworks when he yeah. throws the firecrackers down. So, yeah, there was a lot. Of, there was a lot of great. Dude, let's great let's scenes. talk about that. Let's talk about yeah. the. Finally, we're getting some video game tropes in here. He right? throws the alarm clock, dude. That's like yeah. that's so like. Um, well, I, you know, even like the most recent. I'm playing State of Decay. All right, okay. uh, the most recent one, which by the way, you should get on Xbox. We should play that yeah. together, man. Yeah. I, I've got it on Xbox and Windows. It's a crossplay thing. We should play that together. It's real State of Decay 2 I'm playing. I have State of Decay 1. It's on Steam. But uh, State of Decay 2, same thing. You throw stuff to distract them. He threw the alarm clock. He threw the fireworks. and Or yeah. or Dead Rising. It's like, it reminds me of Dead Rising, that yeah. game. You know, it's like, yeah. this is cool. Like, they're doing, they're in this world, and they're and they're doing mm -hmm. these things that you would do in like a uh, you know other movies or like I said video games. Yeah, he yeah. saw that and I was like, "Oh, he's like shh 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 he told the dog to stop and he's like, "Yeah. What the shit?" So <laughs> freaking cool. And they so so they get to it the is. They, So, here's the thing. 
<laughs> watching watching them fight, you know, mm. Aaron is so capable, and Jesus obviously is so capable, and Eugene is capable, attacking from a sitting position, you mm. know, hacking at their heads and stuff, right? Yeah. He tells them all, like we said, that Michonne shows up with the outsider people, right? Is that what their name is? Oh, I'm calling them the outsiders. And they, they bring them, they, they're, they get them, they're getting them out. He says, Aaron, get the hell out of here. And he just systemat systematically dismantles this group, right? right? Dude. It's great to see him with a sword. Oh, right? God. It was so good. It was so fun yeah, to see them all with that, that shit. Thing. Yeah. He was wielding that thing like he really knew what the hell he was Even doing. Even Aaron. With. Aaron had that shit. Yeah. So, yeah. dude, I mean, what were your feelings when you saw that happen? He, The thing dodged and caught him in the back. And it's I was like, oh, on. shit. Yeah. Yeah, it was it was pretty sick. I mean, especially when uh, listen, losing Jesus sucks. Um, especially since, like I said earlier in the video, that just when you start to get to mm -hmm. give a little bit more to the character, that's sometimes when they leave. But how about the rest of the uh, the whispers that start charging towards? Well, well, that's what I was going to say. Yeah. So, so, so coming off of of what I said, that was first of all, it that was great. Yeah. The whole the whole build up. You know, like, you know, they're making that going. He's going to do this and he's going to slice this way and he's going to slice under and then slice up and he's going to do yep. all these sick moves. Mm -hmm. And then at the last one where he's just like, let me just, let me just, you know, nip this one and then I'll walk through that gate. Boom, dodge, stab. And for some, for someone of that caliber to just be taken out because of naivety, because of, of complacency, you know what I mean? Yeah. I mean, how the hell is he? Was he supposed to know? But, oh no, but, of course. But not. that's not the point. The point is, there's a there is a complacency to it. They're so they're so skilled and used to defying those dead, you know, the odds of fighting a horde of dead things. Yeah, you just didn't think. And when when you saw that, it was insane. And then they're all just like, what? Yeah. They all just lose their shit. And then then they come running out with the knives. And yeah, yeah I mean, they were no match for our group. But yeah. the fact that Michonne's staring at the blood, she's like, holy shit, wait a second. And then you see the tide. Yeah. I'm, I'm sorry, man. That was, they did it right. They did it right. No, man. they did. And you know what's funny? Like, if it wasn't such a lousy um, scene as far as losing one of our characters, it would have been great for Daryl or someone to say, how come we never thought of that? Well, About because putting, because it takes. You know what I mean? It's just. Yeah, but it takes a smart. Because it's smart, but it takes a. a and this is what we're going to learn, guys, if you don't know what's, what's going to come. This is what we're going to learn about these people. They're not – they've switched their brains to something. And I wonder, and I wonder how in-depth they're going to get with it. But these particular people, this group yeah. of people that call themselves the Whisperers or whatever, they are, they're a different type of people. They've adapted to this world in a different way that Rick and everybody else has. Oh, of course. Of course. I'm just saying in general it's, it's a smart – idea it I is guess, but but don't but don't forget how they what, live though mikey don't forget know, how they're not living well, in alexandria they're living in the woods yeah. with a herd of monsters you know yeah no that's that's so that's it, what, it's um, it's pretty that's crazy kind of looking forward to it's pretty to crazy see. yeah if our if our characters can take out those five or six whispers or whatever that was relatively easily mm -hmm. um you know, let's see what kind of a match. Let's see what kind of competition these well, guys are. Obviously, well, we've got Beta. We saw yeah, Beta. Beta fighting Daryl. It's one guy. So we'll see what happens. Um, yeah, and, and and like you said, it's there. There's a different way of the, the for these people to survive. Obviously, by doing what they're doing with these right. masks. Right. So I'm kind of um, curious about how that's going to pan gonna out, and how out, yeah. they're going to show that to, to the viewer. Um, but other than that, dude, it was. Uh, you know, a badass, a badass midseason finale, badass midseason. I mean, I got to give it up to them. I know you especially. Yeah. With last season, you weren't so thrilled with where the show was going, and uh, my, you know, myself. Uh, I was with, apprehensive with, this season. I was apprehensive, yeah. but you want to know something, man? I think, you know, we we were given we were given a crap for for letting us know that Rick was going to leave and blah blah blah, and like, where's the surprise? Yeah, in but that? even and, before that, even just the length of the like the 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 pacing and and the and the and the how much Negan stuff can possibly well, well previously you mean this beginning of the season no no the, this the, first the, half. the previous oh, season. previous was like yeah that, that and and that's why i'm saying like we're with negan now it's like we don't know him we don't yeah. know him enough right now after yeah. this six year seven year break 
to be like, well, I don't know where I want him to be. I don't know what I, what kind of Negan I want him to be. But either way, look, this season, this first half of the season was fantastic. Um, we, you know, I, I liked it. I just, I really enjoyed it. I'm enjoying watching this show again, and I'm very happy. I'm a little, I'm, I want, all right, I'm, I'll be honest. I'm a little surprised, but mm -hmm. at the same token, it's, it's, it's moving along. It's, there's not, I, it doesn't feel dragged out. Not um, at all. Like no, it, like I'm, the previous seasons, there was just some episodes that were just like, okay, get on with it. We don't have to have a talk in the kitchen or by the garden, or can we just move things? You know. Yeah. Um, yeah. But anyway, good stuff. I, I, yeah, yeah I want to end. Right? Let's. I, yeah, I can't. You know, I, I, we can praise. No, it I, 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 I agree too. I'm just kind of curious about how long. Let's see how long this is gonna come out. Let's see how long this whisper of stuff is gonna go. Because they kind of teased us with maybe some other characters that might be from another point of of the books and stuff like that. So let's see how, I, you know, this the pacing goes. I'm not really worried about that. Life after Rick has not been bad, even though oh, we're lucky he didn't. He's not dead, right? And we'll eventually see him again. But yeah, great mid season, um, guys. You let us know down in the comments below, of course, what you thought of this episode as well as this uh, mid season of nine. Um, we're excited. It comes back February 10th. Yep. Check it. Check us out. We'll have some stuff for you on Instagram, Third Person Pod, on Facebook, Third Person Pod, uh, Twitter, Third Person Pod, and of course you can check us out on iTunes as well. That's right, guys. Thank you so much for watching this video for The Walking Dead, and also please go check out our Into the Badlands video if you're not watching that yes. show. What is wrong with you? You watch should be it. watching that show. It's a fantastic show. It's it's so good. Um, and just go watch that show. We've been doing interviews with the cast and crew. Uh, we're going to have more of them come on. We also do an Into the Badlands trivia show with the community, the Into the Badlands Facebook community, as well as the actors and creators themselves. They are also on the show. Mike and I have been very blessed to be able to be injected Absolutely. into this, into that, in, into their world and yes. in the community itself. So please check out our Into the Badlands stuff because it's, it's really good stuff over there. That's yeah, going to do it. Thank you very stuff. much. We love you. Keep those comments coming, and we'll see you on the next video for The Walking Dead. Good night.